Hey everybody, Richard Maxwell here. It's our Arcadia High School Creative Musical Arts and Sciences program. It's our weekly episode podcast. This is episode, I want to go with 34. <laughs> there were two options. 35. You are in between. Episode 473. 36. Uh, number 36. No, this is actually really close. So, uh, Zosha Darnell, uh, Mrs. Darnell, who is one of our foreign language teachers, she's awesome. She's very supportive of the program and everything we do here. She came in and did an interview and a conversation with us, and we've got some talk about... Uh, that was done before Songwriter Night, and then we had Songwriter Night, and then we've got sort of a beginnings of the post-Songwriter Night wrap-up. We've actually got some more stuff coming for that soon. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, and enjoy the episode, and here you go. Welcome back to another podcast episode, everybody. I am your host... And this mic is not centered. I'm your host, <laughs> Lily True, here today. Um, today I'm here with Mrs. Darnell. But before we start, I'd like to give a shout-out to Carter, who was off-screen. So shout-out to Carter, Yay. running production. Good job, Carter. We love you, Carter. This I'm actually recording this in my seventh period, um, which is pretty nice. I don't have to stay after school for any segments today. <laughs> um, works so out. Works out. Uh, I filmed one during lunch today, too, which will be right after this run segment you can check out. So... Um, here today I'm with Mrs. Darnell. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself, like what subject you teach and why you decided to become a teacher? Absolutely. I teach Spanish and I wanted to become a teacher partly because of the subject area. Mm -hmm. It's something that I'm interested in. I feel like that's true for a lot of high school teachers that, that um, you choose something that you're interested in. I knew mm -hmm. I wanted to study Spanish. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it right away but then it just sort of became clear as I was working in schools when I was in college and um, yeah I traveled after college for a couple of years I lived in Spain and taught English and um, then after that I was um, I guess ready or sort of I had no choice to get a real job <laughs> and so so that's how I ended up here and um, yeah it took it took a while to kind of figure out what I was doing, I guess. Um, but then there was this point a couple of years into my career where I was just like, this is it. This is, mm -hmm. I love this. This is what I want to do. Um, speaking of your career, how long have you been a teacher and how long have you worked at Arcadia or lived in Arizona? So this is my 10th year as a teacher, ninth nice. year at Arcadia. I taught for one year at Ingleside before I came here. Shout yeah. out Trojans. We perform a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I've always been within this this area ever since I moved to Arizona. I'm not from here, but when I moved here, it was the first oh, area that I... I'm from Washington State. Um, yes. Yeah, not Seattle, though, eastern Washington, which is rural and agricultural. And actually, that's how I got into studying Spanish is because I had a lot of friends growing up um, who spoke Spanish in their homes, and I wanted to be able to, like feel at home I guess yeah. and and be able to talk to their families and stuff and it took a while it's not a it's not a quick overnight process learning a language not. no but um <laughs> but yeah nice so um I got one question for you mm -hmm. that is related to music also I heard that you're a great supporter of our program thank you so much yeah um, I think you guys I are ask awesome this to every person who's mm -hmm. on here just in general students and teachers um what was your first reaction to entering this room because this particular room with the... Or, like, this the whole CMAS room in general. It was intrigue, I think. I was like, what? What? This is amazing. I don't... I, I, I'm not used to working with um, music or even mm -hmm. just any sort of production in any way. Um, it's just not something that I've um, been exposed to. And so yeah. it was just like awe inspiring I guess it's it's very yeah, I cool this room was absolutely insane I'm like no way this is real mm -hmm. um, I see I'd heard about it so at least I had an idea in my head of what it was gonna be like well, when I walked in well, yeah, but we, they performed at Ingleside when when I went there which was literally just last year but <laughs> um when I went there and I was like oh I bet their room is just like a couple guitars in a room nothing much walk in oh there's this many posters wow this this is a lot <laughs> yeah yeah it's a lot and and I think each time you walk in I at least for me um I noticed something else some other cool tool or feature that you guys mm -hmm. have so yeah I don't even know what half the things in this room could possibly be mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh so oh wait you've already I was about to ask you how long you were working at Arcadia as if I didn't already ask that question wow 
great for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so a little question related to music. Kay. So um, everyone knows the question about, oh, if you're stranded on an island, uh, what would you bring? Everyone says a boat, even though you can't bring a boat. That's cheating. Literally the entire purpose is not to bring a boat. <laughs> um, so if you could, if you're stranded on a deserted island, you have all the resources to live as long as you please, but you can only bring one album of any artist of your choice and you have to listen to that forever what would it be uh well can i say two things (laughs) you can say so what we did with (laughs) what we did with dr johnson was that she named an album and her second choice was like oh if that one magically disappeared then this one would magically show up right because because (laughs) yeah i don't know um I f- I'm so eclectic with music that there's not um, a lot of thing. I guess I, it's it's very seldom that I um, will have a whole album on repeat. I'll have, you know, like my favorite songs. I feel like that's pretty standard of the typical public, I guess, yeah. and music audience is that you'll have your songs that you like and that's about it. Um, I do always try to give every song a chance but you know there are always some that that catch your attention um so usually what I go back to and this is not my choice every day but I always like some reggae and I feel Mm -hmm. like if I could like if there was just one genre that it would be that and maybe some some Bob Marley music Bob Marley you Mm -hmm. are the second person to name an artist I have actually listened to when I ask you that question Oh. So congrats. The first oh, person you. was Dr. Johnson last week. Okay. <laughs> she named Beyonce. <laughs> and then the her second option was 50 Cent. So I forgot oh. which 50 Cent album. But Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you, what was your second choice? So my second choice um, is um, Zach Brown, who is a country artist. The country artist. Did he perform here for the Super Bowl, I believe? I th- I think he did because I went <laughs> to the Super Bowl. Not to the Super Bowl. Uh, to the there's they did Super Bowl Music Fest. So it was a whole weekend of concerts. Oh, maybe they might have. Uh, d- not to be mixed up with Zach Bryan, who is a very popular artist right now. Zach Brown is uh, also popular, but he does he doesn't just do country. That's why I like him. Is because a lot of his songs actually have that reggae feel that I like a lot. And um, and when he performs, he does, um, I don't know, he does, like, Metallica songs, too. And so they do, like, a lot of... Oh, the band? I, yes, the band. Nope, so it's I a band. You're probably thinking... A, oops, I'm, I'm thinking of a different brown. I forgot. Probably. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, that's that's my other choice. I, I think he's an outstanding musician, just in a lot of, yeah. in a lot of ways. You spoke so. of reggae. Can you tell me some mm-hmm. of your favorite artists in reggae, or just some of your favorite artists in general? Uh, well, I mean, besides... Bob Marley. Um, there's there's one that I've been listening to. He's called Burna Boy, and mm-hmm. he is from Nigeria, I think. <laughs> um, I can't remember which country exactly, but he is from Africa and has been putting out music with. Um, uh, yeah, well, it's and it's got that he's sort of um, taking reggae, but also mixing it with pop a little bit, I guess. Mm-hmm. And so it's um, yeah. So he's the one I've been listening to a lot recently, too. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, so we talked I talked about this with Dr. Johnson last week. She talked about like her first album she bought was the was the 50 cents album. Die Hard or Try. Uh, I, I'm messing that up. It's something along the lines of that. Okay. Could you tell me your first album you ever bought? Because I honestly, because this is like such a good question. It is because <laughs> it totally dates people because I feel like, oh, yeah. you know, because you typically you'll buy your first album when you're a teenager, yeah. right? Yeah. So mine was the Backstreet Boys. And you ate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I had every one of their albums as I was in like middle school. And so that's nice. when. Yeah. Um. So my first album. My first one I ever bought was like that I personally bought, not my parents, mm-hmm. was about two months ago because mm. <laughs> um, all the other ones I got were birthday gifts. Yeah. And then my aunt was like, how are you now just doing that? And I said, all of them are birthday gifts. She's like, I remember mine. And the reason you mentioned Backstreet Boys because it reminded me of the NSYNC. And she goes, my first album yeah. was the NSYNC Christmas album. Uh-huh. And so I got that her I got that for her for Christmas. <laughs> There you go. 
Yeah, and I mean, I remember because they were CDs back mm -hmm. then, and so, yeah, you would look at the pictures, and you would, yeah. they had the lyrics, and I like that. I do, for some reason, music, I just always have to look, at the, look at the lyrics. I always, I, I prefer to look at the are, lyrics. Are you a, lyri so you're a lyrics person? Yes, I am. Someone who gets it. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of people here, um, they really like the backtrack music, and I'm like, no, the real meaning obviously is like in right. the lyrics. And no, totally, I really like. Yeah, I do love a good beat and mm. and all of that, and and true, like that's what makes a song catchy and yeah. and things. But but yeah, I think I feel like part of it has to do with the fact that I'm a language teacher. So oh, yeah. things like I don't know when um, my husband listens to a lot of um, Eminem and. Mm. Um, if you like if you look at his lyrics it's saying awful things right but it is so <laughs> clever is. just the way that he changes the, the yeah and, and the language around like mm -hmm. it is it is so cool to see what he does with language and so it totally fits with me yeah. so i i i appreciate that well um our timer ran out but i decided to cut it off so no one would have to hear that in the mic ever again because one time it got really loud and it like busted my eardrums while i was editing ah. but <laughs> thank you so much for yeah, coming thank on you the my pleasure thank you so it much was for fun. supporting us and coming yeah. down here thank you to carter once thanks again. carter, we love you, carter. nice work has my, has my hair been flat against the couch this entire time i think your hair looks great <laughs> why thank you yeah you'll find out when you edit it oh no <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see thank you guys you. next. Nope. I won't see you guys next time. I'm going to see you in two minutes. Next segment. I keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you guys in the next segment. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Welcome back to another podcast episode, everybody. I am your host, Lily True, here today. Um, today's topic. I songwriter am night. Songwriter night. I was about to say yeah. I am songwriter night. That doesn't really make okay. sense. Okay. So today's guests, I have... Jason, R.I.P., uh, Nico, and Cameron. Hello. And Nick. And Nick, apparently. Nick. We're recording. Oh, that's fine. You're good. No, he can be in the intro. Nick, you can be here. in the intro. Come yeah, don't, don't, don't cut this out. Don't come cut here. this out. Come, <laughs> come in frame. Come in frame. Yeah, come, in, come in the frame. Introduce yourself. If you wanted to say something to the whole world, what, yeah. would, it, what would it be? Uh, if you're thinking of joining this uh, team, you should join. Yeah, I agree with that. You should join. Thanks. It's, yes. it's good, very cool. And so, uh, when is this podcast getting out? This podcast is. Right. Uh, you mean for lunch? Yes. Uh, like in eight. Like once we talk about it, in like eight minutes max. All right. Leave. Leave. Bye, man. Um. Bye, Nico. So, who is performing at Songwriter Night? Me. 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 All of us. All, All right. of the above. You. Oh, me. Yeah, I didn't tell you, but we signed you up for a rap song. No. <laughs> That's right. Yep. You're only gonna get to rehearse it so many times. You only, <laughs> you only, you, so the lyrics you have to make the lyrics by songwriter night, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and we're only gonna practice half the song <laughs> once. Yeah, and just, uh, so you, just so you that you know the structure. Paul like. yeah. and Paul's we're only gonna be able to hear you through the head. So, uh, what are you guys performing at songwriter night? I'm doing a lot. Oh yeah, you're as, like as in always. And out. <laughs> I'm doing three acts. I'm playing with. Cactus King. Four. Four. Uh, go ahead, explain, and I'll explain my reasons. Okay. So the ones that I'm aware of, uh, <laughs> Cactus King with the Noahs and Paul. Uh, and then there's also a thing that I'm doing with Tanner and Grayson. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also a thing that I'm doing with Grayson, James, and John with me on guitar for all of them. Wow. Are you going to bring that cool guitar again? The one that broke? Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't have a use for it, cause one of the I can't use it for Grayson's song because it it's a hollow body which won't work too well apparently, and I can't use it for the song with Grayson and Tanner because I need a seven string for that. So and I don't want to bring two guitars. So moving up in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron, what are you performing? Pop punk song. With whom? My band. Original. Yes. Well, it has to be original. <laughs> the good question. <laughs> Um, so, this is still, actually, it's not a maybe. We're doing it. Um, we just have to figure out the logistics. We are doing an on-stage podcast segment. Oh. With the regulars. And it is more Ooh. in skit form. Like, it's like, it's us 
usually, but it's us on stage like 10 minutes before the show actually starts. So it's as people are coming in, and then halfway through the show, I'm interviewing a few seniors on stage. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. But basically, it's the regulars. Paul, I don't, I, I, I don't know if you count as one. Please get me in on this. He's the, he's Jason's replacement. He's it's Jason's official. Replacement. It, it depends. This could be Jason's like send off. His final. <laughs> his final bow. Yeah. It, you know, it'd be really funny yeah. if we pulled a theater and like us uh, suddenly no. we started beating each other up on stage. Yeah, let's do it. Fine arts assembly. John has and then, my lunchables. <laughs> Oh, no. I personally think we should do it where we're talking about Songwriter Night, and then we crack a couple jokes about Maxwell. And then, well, this is coming out after Songwriter Night, so we'll see. And then Jason just walks in, and then the lights black out, and then there was, there's, like, some fighting and wrestling, and all of a sudden you see Paul in a green sweatshirt yep. saying, I can do that. This, ep- this segment has, what's it, what is it? This episode, <laughs> this episode has gone off the rails. This episode has gone off the rails. I can say that. That's, uh, this is, this You're is. You totally look exactly like Jason. I am basically Jason. This is both the greatest idea that I've heard ever and also... Oh, shout the, out to James. He was the one who thought of it. Thought of do, the regulars doing it on stage. Yeah, so W. James, but also massive L. James, because this is maybe the worst idea ever. <laughs> but it's also go good. <laughs> this could either end really well, or this could be like everyone thinks we're not funny at all. That's I'm not an actor, so... Well, we just we'll do see. what we regularly do with certain guidelines. With beating each other up as well. Yeah, I think there, it's, there I think it's just Paul. There will be no point. <laughs> there will be There's no... no redos. There's no edits. No, no edits, no redos, no bloopers. How will we survive? Oh, that's so sad. I should really think Lily should... It, me and Max have talked about this, how Lily should just scream bye into the mic like usual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bye. 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 That's probably the most that they would ever say. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming on this very – actually, do you have any of the notes about Songwriter Night? I never got to say what I was going to tell them. Oh, I'm sorry. Continue. I'm telling them a lot. That's all. <laughs> you said that earlier, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, I what are you playing in, Paul? I lost count of what I'm playing in, but I have it all in the back of my head. Yep. I, that's all I wanted to say. Is the set list coming out tomorrow? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. No, no one knows? Yeah, if Grace, so I'm pretty sure Grayson, he said he might have signed me and Cal up and him to do something, and I'm going to have a drum solo in that, so that'll be cool. Fancy, fancy. Yeah. So he says he might have signed you up for something. Yeah, he says, I think I did, and I was like, well, I guess we'll find out. (laughs) All right. Yep. Um, any other notes, gentlemen, as we end this very short podcast segment? No. I uh, am... More prepared for this than I was for the last one, so that's good. I agree good. with that. Wait, I have one thing to say. Mm. I want everyone watching this to know that on, I think. On yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. All right, get that good angle where no one can see my eyes no matter what I do. Okay. Oh, oh hey, there you go. Oh. <laughs> All right. I want everybody here to know that I personally think the band Sum 41 is mid. That's all. That's all. Thank you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye! I'm not even the frame. And tune in next week for where we discuss the uh, Drake versus everybody uh, debate. I don't know if oh, we should do wow. that. Soden, here you go. Put my phone down! Anyways... Anyways.